Hi guys, it's Lottie from Lottie Louise Art and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw long wavy fur using coloured pencils. This type of fur I find particularly difficult and time consuming compared to other types of fur and I think this is because of the many layers that wavy fur has. As my reference photo, I used a photo of a spaniel from Pixabay website and I zoomed into its ears which are covered in long wavy fur. Here I'm just sketching out the main clumps of fur using a light brown pencil. When drawing long or wavy fur, you need to focus on the clumps of fur rather than every single individual hair. If you drew in every single strand of hair, the drawing would look extremely liney and wouldn't look that realistic. It might end up looking very wiry instead of the fur looking soft and flowing. So I'm just slowly sketching out the clumps of fur ready for when I go in with some darker shades of brown. This step just helps me so that I make sure to get the placement of each clump of hair in the right place. After that I go in with some more orangey tones and light beige colours as a base layer. I want to make sure all of the paper is covered in some sort of colour, whether it be a bright or a deep colour or even just with a white pencil. I also then start to add some darker bits wherever I see darker areas in my reference photo. I just sort of lightly map out the bits of darkness out for now and then I can deepen up the areas even more later on. I'm using really light pressure in this layer so that I don't fill in the tooth of the paper too quickly as I want to add more layers in after this. I'm also using a sharp pencil as always as this also helps you to get more precise cleaner looking lines. Here I'm using a mixture of the Faber-Castell Polychromos, Caran d'Ache Luminance and Derwent Lightfast pencils. These are the pencil brands I use within most of my coloured pencil drawings. Links to each of these types of pencils will be in the description below if you're interested in checking them out. I then go in with a Zestit pencil blend on an old paintbrush which is what I use for most of my coloured pencil drawings. It just brightens the colours up and makes everything appear a lot more saturated as well as blending the colours together really nicely. If you're struggling to blend your coloured pencil drawings, then I highly recommend trying this out. A link for this will also be in the vid video description below. You can see here that when I'm adding the pencil blend, the colours immediately become a lot brighter. This will dull down a bit once it dries, but it's definitely still be a lot brighter than it was before the solvent was added. I find that using the solvent also speeds up the drawing process, as you don't necessarily have to add as many layers of coloured pencil on top, as the colours are already bright enough. So it's just a case of adding a bit more colour and the details. Once it's dry, I start adding more colour, both light and dark. I deepen up the darker areas and keep the lighter areas light. One huge mistake people make with coloured pencils is that they don't keep the light areas light enough. This is irreversible with coloured pencils, unfortunately, which can make coloured pencils quite difficult to work with. I've only been drawing with coloured pencils for just over a year, so I'm still learning too. I'm switching back and forth between the lighter and the darker colours just to make sure I get my values correct. One reason why your drawings may not look as realistic as you'd like is because the values may not be correct. If the darkest areas of your drawing aren't as dark as they need to be, or the light areas aren't as light as they need to be, then the contrast just isn't going to be right and then your drawing won't look super realistic. Don't be afraid to make the darker areas really dark. I know it can be scary as you cannot erase coloured pencils easily without damaging the paper but just try it and you'll be surprised about how much of a difference it can really make. I keep adding more and more coloured pencil until I think that I've covered the whole paper for a second time. After that, I'll go in with the solvent again before I complete the third and final layer. After that, I just want to make sure that all the darkest areas are as dark as they are in my reference photo. I also add in a few random stray hairs here and there, just so the fur doesn't look quite so perfect. Most animals in real life don't have perfect looking fur with no strands out of place, that's just not how it is. So I always add stray hairs in at the end so I can see where they need to be and so that I don't accidentally cover them up with more layers. After this fur video, I'm thinking of filming maybe videos on how to draw black and white fur as they're the ones which most people seem to struggle with. I also might do some videos with time lapses of me drawing but then adding a voiceover over the top of me speaking about different art topics. If any of you have any ideas for topics I could talk about in my videos, or anything that you would be interested in seeing, please let me know in the comments. It's always helpful to get your feedback, as it then helps me to know what you would find more useful. Here I'm adding in some white to burnish some areas and lighten them up just a little bit. The white doesn't show up too much, but it lightens the area up subtly. 
After that, I just add in some more stray hairs and make some final adjustments before adding a final layer of solvent on top. I won't add much more after the final layer of solvent, I only add anything else which I think needs tweaking slightly. So here is what the final bit of fur looks like, I hope you found this useful. As I said, if you have any ideas on art topics you'd like me to speak about or anything you'd like to see on this channel, please leave a comment below. Feel free to check out my Instagram page, at Lottie Louise Art, where you can see all of my drawings as I do them. I post regular pro progress photos and updates on my work, as well as anything else art related that I am doing. The link for my Instagram and my Facebook page are in the description below. So thanks for watching the video and please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.